Hello guys, this is the Gaming Revolution here, and today I just have a quick short video on a brand new easter egg which has actually been finally, finally solved in World at War, which is pretty ridiculous. Now, uh, I'm sorry that this is a day late and you probably already heard and seen about this, but unfortunately I went away again for a few days and it was sort of short notice, so I didn't have time to pre-record any videos, but uh, I've got a ton of original storyline videos for Black Ops 3 Zombies inbound coming very, very soon, but those videos are going to take quite a bit to make, and quite a bit of research uh, there's a lot of in-depth stuff that has to go into that so yeah, sorry that this is late and sorry if I've missed anything over these last few days but there's just nothing I could do about it Again, I'm just really sorry. So anyways, Mrs. LJD actually brought it to the community's attention that Jason Blundell actually gave him a little hint towards an unsolved World at War Easter egg which was actually in association to the character bios in World at War now, quite a while back, Jason Blundell actually said that there's uh, hidden easter eggs that we still haven't solved yet in World at War, where, and he also said in Zombies in general, without specifically talking about a specific game, I would assume there's more in Black Ops 1 and also Black Ops 2 as well. So there's probably still quite a fair few left to find. I doubt the big easter eggs, they're probably just little codes and things like that, just like this one. So in order to actually solve this little code on, uh, on, on World at War, essentially what you need to do is you need to take the first letter from each of the sentences of each of the character bios and it will actually spell out the following. The Doctor wants the ultimate power bastard. Now you've got to bear in mind this is all the way back in World at War so the whole point of this easter egg was sort of shadowing, foreshadowing the Black Ops 1 zombie storyline where obviously Rick Toffin wanted to gain complete control of the zombies and he did that on Moon by going into Samantha's body uh, and throughout Black Ops 2 he obviously controlled the zombies apart from Origins. So that's what it was sort of foreshadowing so back then if we were to find this all the way back in World World at War, well, uh, this would have really, really helped us and aided us towards the future of the storyline, but we just never found it back then. The community wasn't big enough, uh, we didn't really know about all of the different Easter eggs that they put in. They didn't really put many Easter eggs in either, so we really just weren't searching for them, and the community just, just is nowhere near as large as it is today. And that's why, as soon as Mr. Dalek JD sort of hinted to us about this, we literally found it instantly uh, within a couple hours. So it, it was a very, very Easter egg a very very easy easter egg to solve now i found i, I found this quite weird now uh, a lot of people are just saying that when they originally put this easter egg in it was most likely hinting towards uh, dr edward richthofen obviously uh, wanting to gain complete control of the zombies and you know he's just completely mental and that's what they probably intended this easter egg to mean back then but i find it weird that uh, Jason Blundell has teased, uh, teased to us this specific easter egg when he said that there's multiple easter eggs within World at War that we still haven't found yet. Treyarch haven't actually been known to ever give us hints towards the, uh, any easter eggs. Uh, they do the odd time if we're really stuck, but they never really like to give things away. So I find it weird why they've given this away on purpose, which makes me believe it may have some other meaning in regards to the Black Ops 3 zombie storyline. Maybe they didn't intend for it to have this meaning but maybe that's the direction they're going to take now with their recent storyline adaptations. Could this have relevance to the Black Ops 3 Zombies storyline? I think it's certainly a possibility. As I said, I don't think it was originally intended for that, though. It could be even referring to Dr. Monty or even Dr. Maxis uh, throughout the future of the zombie storyline. We don't really know much about Dr. Monty, so it's quite possible that it could be him, although I doubt it. But it could definitely, definitely be Dr. Maxis, who seems to be working alongside Dr. Richtofen within Black Ops 3 and on the Giant, obviously. So uh, they're working together now. And what if this time it's in fact uh, Maxis who's the bad one and Rick Toffin's actually the good one, I'm not sure. Now another thing that I was thinking it could mean in regards to the Black Ops 3 Zombies storyline is we, uh, a lot of people think that the younger version of Rick Toffin from Origins is, d uh, is good now uh, and he obviously stole the summoning key from Shadows of Evil and he's rewriting time and a lot of people think that's, that, that's for the greater good although we don't have 100% proof for this. And what if the reason why he's uh, let us know about this past pass easter egg 
is to sort of let us know that maybe Richtofen is just tricking us once again and it won't surprise anyone to be quite honest. Richtofen's always got something up his sleeve. So what if throughout all of the maps he's helping us out, he's trying to rewrite time for the great go th going through all of these parallel universes and stuff like that which I've explained in depth in previous videos. What if he's doing this and bam all of a sudden he just flicks the switch and reveals his true, I uh, his true identity and his true purpose for his end goal of which we just don't know what it is as of yet and he tricks all of the other characters and Maxis and what if once again he's just doing this all for power? I think it's certainly something that this could be. But anyways, let me know all of your thoughts on this down in the comment section down below as well as what it could mean. So anyways, thank you for watching the video. Make sure you're not here for the latest and greatest Black Street Zombies news and information. So anyways, thank you for watching and uh, bye.